In this question, we're trying to find the energy of this signal. And we're given an expression for the signal in the frequency domain and in the time domain. Now remember, Parseval's theorem allows us to calculate the energy using either frequency or time. So the energy is in the frequency domain, 1 over 2 pi times the integral of x of omega, or the absolute value, the, the magnitude of x of omega squared, integrated over all frequency. Or, alternatively, you integrate over all time, x squared of t dt. So, which one should we use? Should we look at the time domain signal? 2a over a squared plus t squared, or the frequency domain signal, an exponential. So, clearly one of them is easier to integrate than the other, so we will be looking at the exponential. So we'll be looking at integrating in the frequency domain. You can try either way, but one is clearly going to be easier than the other. So we'll simply substitute that inside there. So we have, let me reduce that. So we have 1 over 2 pi, the integral from minus infinity to infinity, 2 pi e to the minus a absolute value of omega squared d omega. So the first thing we want to do is to change those limits because we have an absolute value and we can't integrate using an absolute value. We need to replace that with minus omega and positive omega. So I'm going to rewrite that as 1 over 2 pi, the integral from minus infinity to 0. And then again from 0 to infinity. So here we'd have 2 pi e to the minus a minus omega. squared d omega, and here we'd have e to the minus a omega squared d omega. Now we simply rewrite that as 2 pi e to the 2 a omega d omega plus 2 pi e to the minus a omega, minus 2 a omega, d omega. So now we have two really straightforward integrations. So it would be 2 pi over 2 a e to the 2 a omega, minus infinity to zero plus two pi over minus two a e to the minus two a omega from zero to infinity. And if you substitute the limits we have pi over a into e to the power 0 is 1. So it's 1 minus 0 plus actually if we look at that minus there in the denominator that gives us minus 0 
plus 1. And these 1s add up, and you end up with 2 pi over A. And that would be the final energy, or the final value for the energy of your signal. So we've just calculated the energy of this signal using our frequency domain representation. We could have done the same in the time domain, but the integral might not have been as easy.